People have been trying to answer this age-old question, is it worth it, since the early explorers in Everest and the early films, you just feel a part of a greater search for truth. I'm Renan Ozturk. I'm an expedition filmmaker and photographer. Right now I'm preparing for a big National Geographic expedition to Everest, where I'm shooting a stills article, a film for the National Geographic Channel, and also a serialized podcast that National Geographic is going to do. We're just gonna go through a little bit of the preparation process, physically, mentally, and of course, all the little gear that goes into it. For big passion projects or mountaineering projects, most often these ideas are self-generated either by myself or super close friends of mine. In this case, I've been working closely with Mark Sinnott. Mark is one of my mentors and I never thought I would get a chance to know Mark personally or even climb with him. 20 years later, we both ended up on the North Face climbing team and now this will be Probably one of the more ambitious projects we've both tackled together. The story revolved around the history of Everest and how it's changed over the course of time from when climbers first went there and didn't even know what high altitude mountaineering was to this day and age where we hear that there's mainline power to base camp. The power that Everest gives people in their imaginations is also a power that can be used for good by highlighting some of the climate change issues happening on Everest and how the high mountains and glaciers of the world are really the water towers that supply life to a lot of the rest of the planet is an important message that we hope to highlight. The deeper thing that people ask for stories like this is why the hell would you suffer for that? It's a really hard question to answer in words. More and more so in my career, it's been less about trying to climb a mountain for the sake of conquering it and standing on the summit or pure exploration. It's more about bringing back something special to share with others that creates a bigger understanding of our earth and helps people understand what these places are so they can protect them. And it's really this greater search for knowledge. I could never sit here and explain to you why you would go into the death zone and suffer for months on end away from your family. It sounds really cheesy, but it's true. And it's something meaningful that I'm willing to put everything on the line for. If by chance we get up there and get this once in a lifetime shot of our main character crying on camera at sunrise at the roof of the world, I don't have to say anything. That shot will speak for itself.